Hi everyone, Sat here. So instead of doing a daydream tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit about AR Core. It's just come out, so here's a tutorial for it. Uh, let me know what you think. So first of all, you'll have to go to this website here, and this has all the instructions. So you can follow along while you're watching this video if you like, or you can just watch what I'm doing and then have a go afterwards. So you have to install the Android SDK and update the Android SDK um, as you usually have to do when you install Unity. So you've probably got experience doing that already. I'm going to skip that. Uh, you'll have to install the new version of the latest version of uh, the Unity Beta, which is Beta 9. Uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. So if you've never done a Beta, um, you just download your op the operating system, start it up, and away you go. So you'll have to download the SDK preview and extract it into your project once you've got your project open and ready though. So just download it for now and store it somewhere. Um, then you'll need to prepare your device. So this is pretty standard, the enabling developer options and so on. Um, so this is an actual APK. You can see the address pop up at the bottom. Once you download this, it's telling you to connect your drive, uh, your device and run ADB install. You don't actually need to do that. What you can do is download it to your, you know, your laptop, your PC, your Mac, whatever, and then just email it to yourself and then open up that email from your phone or transfer that file to your phone via a regular cable and then just open up the APK. As long as you've done your developer options and you've been, um, have been sorted out, you should be able to open the APK, just install the app, uh, and then you're away to go. You, it, won't, it won't show on your phone once you've installed it because it's doing some stuff on the back end. Um, and then you're, away to, you're ready to go into this, these next steps. So I'm going to shift this aside and then we can do this um, as we go along. So let's create a new project, call it Hello AR. AR, I'm going to call it Tutorial. Okay, that might take a few minutes to start up. I've, I've just skipped it to, to speed the process up. So you'll have your Hello AR tutorial up here, your scene, which is untitled, and you are ready to go. The first thing we want to do is import that package that we downloaded originally. So that package was the package here, this SDK preview for Unity. We want to download, we want to extract this now. We previously downloaded it. So we'll go to uh, assets, import package, and then you want to go to custom package. Click on that. And then we'll have your AR core Unity SDK preview.unity package that we want to open up. So since we want everything, let's just hit import. You can just take a quick look at it if you want, um, but hit import and let that finish doing its job. So we've got Google AR Core in our project folder now. So let's follow the next step in getting the getting started guide so what that says is once we've imported it we want to open up to bring that up open up the build settings by going to file and build settings so let's do that now so file click here file build settings got this and then we want to switch it over to android so click on android and click switch platform so once we've done that, we hit on player settings and we want to change some of the other settings. So let's click on here to move this out of the way a little. And what we want to do is go to multi-threaded rendering and switch that off. We want to change our package name. So let's just change this to com.ar test tutorial. 
Um, then we want to go to the minimum requirement, put a 7. Target API 7 as well. We we'll go to XR settings and we want to click, this is really important, the Tango supported on. So now when it's talking about Tango, it's actually referring to Tango was what the augmented reality originally was AR core originally was. So I think this is actually maybe they'll change this and update, maybe this will say AR supported. But for now, this is actually doing a lot of the, the work from my understanding. Now we've done that, let's go ahead and close this. Let's go to AR examples. Let's go to scenes. Let's drag in a hello AR. And let's, now that we've dragged it in, we can remove this scene as well. It's no use to us. Right, so we're going to build and run this sample app now. And I'm going to show you what this looks like on my phone. So you can have a quick look at it. So let's just to build that, let's go to file, build and run. Um, AR tutorial uh, APK. Let's just do that. Hit save. Target end Let's have a look at that. What did I do wrong? Must have done something simple here. Oh, interesting. So I think actually best to think that's automatic because uh, it was looking for 7.1 um, or 7 and I think I wish it was 7.1 on my phone, which is interesting to see that. Mm. So yeah, okay. Something to, to pay attention to then. Great, so the app started, it's build successful. So now it says allow um, AR tutorials to take pictures and video. We're going to hit allow because it's using the camera. So we can see now it's mapping out the floor in my room and the different surfaces that it can see. And if I tap the screen, it will place little androids wherever I touch the floor. So it knows exactly where the floor is. And I can move back. I can even move around them, which is really cool. So you can actually create something very different and very unique using this. So I hope you enjoyed that video on AR Core. If you would like more videos on augmented reality, let me know and leave a comment below and I'll, I'll maybe do that. Uh, and if you like this video, then leave a like. And if you'd like to support me making more tutorials, check out Colossal Quest. It's in beta at the moment because it's a reduced price. Uh, but if you if you purchase that, that will help me con continue to make these videos. And of course, it's a really cool game too. So um, check that out while it's in beta and um, let me know what you think and the feedback I'll take on board. And, and hopefully when I release the game, it will be a lot better than it would be without your advice. So um, yeah, okay. So I hope you enjoy the video and I uh, look forward to helping you going from daydreaming about development to being a daydreamer and AR core developer.